Sheesh. Good morning, guys. Uh, some people piss me off. If you guys have been following along, I was planning on going to look at a car this morning. Big news in the car situation. My wife so graciously came along, uh, got up at 6.15 this morning to go uh, drive two and a half hours to take a look at this car and hopefully get it. Messaged the dude just shortly after we had left, head down the road and said, hey, we're on the way. And he said, car sold last night. What the? So, needless to say, I don't have a new car this morning. Didn't get one. Luckily, I didn't drive too far. I just sort of, I, I just had a feeling. Um, I just had a feeling. But, you know, really, really kind of pissed off because I, I literally messaged the guy last night at 8.30, 8.30 at night and said, hey, I'll be there, be there around 9.30 in the morning. He said, no problem. Kind of how I left it. And we, we took off this morning, headed down the road, and I just had a feeling. I'll shoot him a message, let him know we're on the way, and there we go. Hey, car sold last night. And I, I get it. It's a, it's a hot market, right? Cash is king. And if people show up and they got money and they're making the right offer, you let it go. I, I would have never asked, never would have thought about asking the guy to hold it for me, you know? But he knew I was coming in the morning, and the least he could have done is message me last night and said, hey, somebody somebody stopped by the house, bought the car, you know, just want to let you know so you don't have to worry about making the two and a half hour drive down to see me in the morning. So my message to you guys is don't, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. If you're selling something, be open. Let the person know. You sold it, it's still for sale. Let them know, don't make the trip. I got somebody else coming, blah, blah, blah. The same thing. If you're buying something and you tell you somebody you're going to be there, be there. Be there on time. Don't waste people's time. It's just disrespectful. It's disrespectful. It implies that you believe your time is more valuable than anyone else's or everyone else's. And that's just, it's just bullshit. I'm not bitter. Seriously, I'm not bitter. It is what it is. Uh, maybe it was a, maybe it was a sign. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Uh, but I did. I was really interested in that car. Like I said in the last video, it was one that I actually really piqued my interest. One of the first ones where I was actually really excited to go look at it. And I thought, you know, this is this is going to be the one. This is the next project for the channel. But, uh, you know, things don't always work out. So I guess uh, we're holding tight for the next one to show up. Good day for cleaning cars. Sunshine. And look at, look at the care. We're taking the shoes off before stepping on the... Uh, do it the speed culture way. <laughs> MDX is looking mighty darn extraordinary. I guess I wasn't going to quite do this yet, but if you guys have been following along, you saw in the last video, or at least a recent video, uh, for testing purposes, we're going to change up the intake system on this Infinity Q50 and make it essentially a three inch or three inch to two and three quarter inch intake short ram uh, but still utilizing this cowl uh, to direct the airflow directly into the filters so we're getting rid of the factory air boxes we're getting rid of this small uh, MAF tube using our factory uh, MAF mass airflow sensors and we'll just utilize the Z1 intake tubes to keep it simple and inexpensive because again this is just for testing purposes only so I got a couple of additional components or new components I went a different route um, so I'll kind of show you what we're going to be working with what I'm doing today and I won't show the whole thing is just kind of refining that setup uh, getting the aluminum tube the little sleeve that I'm going to be using cut down to the perfect size and then we'll be ready to go once we go get this car retuned or uh, get the car back on the dyno to test them out to see if they actually work we'll just be able to put them in put them together um, but that's going to be several weeks from now because I'm waiting on a couple other components that we'll uh, utilize for that dyno event as well. So through that test fitting that I did last video, I was ordered a couple of new things. So uh, rather than that coupler that I had, I didn't like the material of that. I got some Mishimoto uh, real silicone couplers rather than those kind of, uh, they weren't cheap, but they were more of a plasticky material that I don't like. Um, instead of the three inch aluminum, I went and got some uh, two and three quarter inch aluminum. This will be utilized with the Mishimoto uh, adapter and then the three inch portion will go onto the MAF tube uh, and then this will slide right into uh, the Z1 intake tubes. So essentially I'm just gonna cut this in half, uh, one for each side. Uh, so that'll work perfectly. And then we got some new uh, plastic push rivets for the cowl, because I'm running low. So this is just going to be a sleeve. It's just going in, you know, an inch or so 
um, just so I can use a clamp and it doesn't crush. And then those Mishimoto uh, couplers, they'll meet right up to the Z1 tube. Really won't even see the transition between the two, which is nice, but that means I again only need probably an inch or so here. So I'm just gonna make a line, cut it down right here, and we'll cut this side uh, the exact same length for uh, side number two. Um, so again, we're just using a portion of this aluminum tube just as a, an inner sleeve so the clamps don't collapse the uh, silicone tubes. So I cut this down to about a two inch piece and make sure if you're cutting metal tubing, especially if it's dealing with the intake, that you file down any burrs. You don't want any burrs getting sucked up into the engine. That would be no bueno. So deburr, wipe it down good. There we go. Transition is pretty subtle. Stepping up to three inches for the new MAF tube. And then we'll put the filter on. Sweet. So there we go. MAF sensor is on the underside, completely hidden. Makes it look nice and clean. Obviously, there'll be a clamp here. Fits perfectly. Now we'll put the call back on, just kind of a test fit, and make sure it clears. So you can see it fits perfect, even with the cowl on there. And it sits right directly in line for that air intake. So all of the air is going to be coming. You can see uh, where this runner comes from the side, pulling air from the center. Um, but all the way over here as well. Directing it right into that filter. Now, uh, down the road, maybe before we do the tuning part, I'm going to, I think, fabricate some sort of box or some sort of shield. Uh, maybe that uh, can connect right here and come out and then have a, a top portion as well. Maybe go down, but really this is the area that we want to sort of lock off from the engine heat. Even if it's just a small shield here that comes across the top, it's going to help you know, keep the velocity up for the incoming air rather than pulling air from this side of the engine bay uh, and from the front of the motor. Um, so a little bit of shielding will go a long way, even if it's just some like ABS plastic or whatever. Comment down below and let me know what your predictions are. I know, I know for sure that if it doesn't get me any more power and any more torque, and I'll compare my original uh, dyno curves, the dyno graphs, um, to the new one, and if they're are no to minimal gains of course i'll say see i told you so uh but i know there's going to be people that will jump into the comments and say wow this is a short ram this is a short ram so it's not going to get you any more power you know you need the the long ones or you need the you know you're getting too much hot air but the thing you guys need to remember for this dyno testing portion is that the hood's going to be open the car's stationary and it has a big fan blowing across the front of the engine so it's going to be blowing into the grill uh, just like it would going down the road putting that cool air directly on the filter but any air or any uh, engine bay air that's hot is going to be escaping the engine bay and being blown up onto the windshield and out so heat aside from the ambient temperature which in a couple of weeks it's going to be june into july potentially before we get on the dyno it's it's going to be hot um so that's one thing we will have to consider and i'll acknowledge that of course but you know it's, it's this three inch math portion that is making the difference here. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're long tubes or short rams on the dyno. Now, if I run into heat soak issues on the road, you know, doing multiple back-to-back -back poles or something, that, you know, certainly that could be an issue. But again, this is for testing purposes. So I'm curious to find out, curious to know what you guys think I'll make for power. We're at about 334, 276 with the factory air boxes and some AFE drop-in filters, but now we're going to have the three-inch MAF adapters going into two and three-quarter inch Z1 intake tubes, and the throttle bodies are about 69 millimeters or so, so 65 to 69 millimeters, you know, inside diameter. Diameter. So this tube is the maximum, essentially. Anyway, uh, the three-inch could very well be two and three-quarter inch. It's the difference between the two is not not going to do anything for us in terms of power so let me know let me know in the comments what your expectations would be again we're at 334 276 currently clean
guys, so I got a little bit screwed this last weekend in looking at a, a new project car for the channel. Fortunately, some people just aren't that considerate. But good news, as I've mentioned in some previous videos, I have a, another giveaway coming up and I wanted to at least give you a couple of details. It's probably going to be toward the end of this month, which is June 2021. Uh, it might roll into the first part of July, maybe a 4th of July giveaway, we'll say. Uh, but I wanted to tell you also that I'm partnering again with Super Clean Products. So the winner not only is going to get the giveaway item that, that I have in store for you, uh, but also going to get a couple of things from uh, Super Clean as well, which is pretty cool. But now, without further ado, I'll let you know exactly. Well, I'll let you know a part of what the giveaway is going to include. And that is going to be the Diamond Pattern Infinity Floor Mats. Now these are Q50 specific as far as I know. I did have these in the car for uh, a week or so, um, but I've cleaned them up, so they look pretty good. There's a little bit of evidence of where my foot rested for a little while, but they're in, in great shape. Uh, I don't think anyone really sat in the passenger seat, and nobody sat in the back seat, so those are perfect. This is the driver's mat, and it, you can see, is still in perfect condition, essentially. So I'm pretty excited to give these away. I'm going a different direction, so I'm happy to give these away. I'd rather give them away uh, and give back to the community rather than try to sell them or just sit on them here. So excited to give these away. Again, it's probably going to be toward the end of June. I got a couple other items to throw in with the giveaway as well, so stay tuned. You guys want to subscribe right now if you haven't already because obviously we'll make a giveaway announcement video with all of the details and allow you to get entered to win this stuff, this whole entire package in partnership with Super Clean again. Uh, really cool, really cool company, really good products. Uh, so excited for another giveaway. Uh, and you know what, that does sound like a good idea. Maybe we'll we'll start it at the end of this month and the drawing will be sometime around the 4th of July. We'll have a, a 4th of July giveaway celebration. What do you say? I swear though, guys, to little eight pound, five ounce baby Jesus that we're gonna have some good luck finding another project car for the channel. Fingers crossed for me. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit all over the place, but hey, what do you do? Thanks for watching. Appreciate the continued support. We'll see you in the next one.